Allah make it easy. I know Muslims who've left Islam who were born Muslims, a few of them. And that's a cheap excuse. You know, ignorance, like I say, lack of faith, lack of Iman, that's what happens. I would like to think, set yourself a date beyond which you can get married to him without his folks. It's easier this way. If he is independent from them, the problem comes when he depends on them for his living, then I don't have a solution. It's difficult. But if he's independent, he can be kind to them, be nice to them. He can get it done without them and he can let them know, listen, I'm doing this and they can kick him out and they can do whatever. And, but you just be nice and kind. I know that it's so difficult to say, well, for how long should I just be nice and kind to them? Sometimes it takes a few years, but imagine it takes three years out of another 30, 40 years of marriage, 50 years of marriage. Three years was worth the sacrifice. Uh, but the three years when you're going through it seems very, very long. We pray that Allah make it easy for you. And you know what, if I had it my way, I would actually, I wouldn't mind calling on those folks and proposing on your behalf. I wouldn't mind. I don't mind. I can get it done. We, we inshallah, later on, I get the details and inshallah, we, get it, we, we can at least pay them a visit or give them a phone call and let them know, listen, this is who I am. And I'm speaking on behalf of so and so and inshallah, we want to try and get this done. And let, then let's see what they say. We pray that Allah soften their hearts. And that's another thing you, you, you also need to always do. Just pray, oh Allah, soften their hearts, soften their hearts. And then there's one last thing I want to say. If we're going to try all our trials, if we're going to try all our trials and we fail in everything, you need to firmly believe that Allah knows it was not good for you.